for this tutorial, we're going to be following pretty much a follow-up of the previous one where we teleported to a marker and halo jumped from 300 meters above using the flagpole as an action. But instead of going off a marker, we're going to be going off of this 3D object, the cube here. So we still have our previous script, just like that. Now, the difference between this going from a marker to a 3D object is, obviously, you can't use get mark position on a 3D object, and it's going to be a little bit different on how you set the position of the player. We're going to be using set position ATL, meaning above terrain level, as well as the get position above terrain level to get that object's coordinates. So we can go ahead and delete everything that's right here. Now, let's go to that object that we want to be able to teleport to. Let's give it a name. Uh, yeah, let's just name it Box Tele for teleport. So we have Box Tele, just as a reminder for the name. Now we need to use Get Position Above Terrain Level to get that object, its coordinates. You can also use above C level, which is just ACL, I mean ASL, which instead of being based off of the terrain, it is based off of the height of the C. So, we're going to go ahead and, as it says, right here with the example, we can store it in a variable, which is going to be an array, as you can see here by the return pipe. So it's going to return something such as 0, 5, set 9, x, y, and z. So we can have position equals get POS ATL, then the object that we need to get it from being box telly. Now, this is where we're going to be going back to the select command. Remember how I, I don't know if you ever watched it, but you can select through an array. So we have 5, 3, 1, 5. Let's do 7 and we want to do store a variable and let's say we want to get one out of this array so we have my array equals that then we have selection equals you want the array name that is my array then you use select then to get to one we have zero one Two. So we have to go to select 2. Now selection is equal to 1. It's going to be the exact same way as that for the coordinates. So we have player. Let's go ahead and bring up set position real quick. In the wrong spot. So we have the object that we want to move to. Well, move. Then we have the command. Then we have the position that we want to move the object to. So, as you can see here, they're using the select command. They're getting the position of player, and they're selecting the x coordinates, y coordinates, and z coordinates. So we have, except in this case, we're going to be using position, since position is what holds the position of box telly. So we have player, the object, set, POS, ATL. Now because this is taking in the details, pretty much an array here as you can see, for position, we need to have opening and closing square brackets. Now, this is where the select man comes in. Instead of doing all this, we're going to just simply use POS, since this is the array of the coordinates, select zero. Then we're going to have comma, POS, select 1, POS, select 2. So this should select X, Y, and Z from POS and set us there. So if we save it, go into our mission here. Go ahead and click on the pole. As you can see, it brings us right above the box here with 3D coordinates.
Now you can also alter it how you want as well. So let's say we, all right, we're happy with where we're at, but we want to move up, let's say, let's say we want to jump up 20 meters when we're teleported. So go ahead and just to make it nice and neat, go ahead and put this here around in the opening and closing parentheses. Then we'll have plus then the distance we want. So let's go 20. So this should bring us directly to the box and bounce us up 20 meters. So if we run it, click the add action, we're 20 or so meters above the box. And if we don't have that, keep in mind it's not very picky, so you can still have these braces here. We go ahead and just restart to try it again. brings us right to the box again.